Like your fingerprints are everywhere. Like you just told me a story about your first tape with Gucci. Mm -hmm. Were you removed <laughs> Nicki Minaj's verse because she wasn't popping yet? Oh God, why are we talking about this? <laughs> Nicki, I apologize. So what happened? <laughs> um, me and Gucci's first actual Gangsta Girls. We actually did one with Yo Gotti first. It was called Definition of a G. That was the first tape me and uh, Gucci had did together. It was collaboration, Gotti, Gucci, and me. The first official Gucci man Gangsta Grills was called The Movie. And when he brought it to me, the first song that was for the tape, the first voice you heard on the on the tape was Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I, obviously, this is a, a early Nicki Minaj. And disrespectfully, you know, I felt like we can't have a Gangsta Grills with me and Gucci and the first voice you hear not be Gucci. So I removed her, um, her verse. Her verse from that song. I feel terrible to this day. Did she, did she know it was your decision? Um, I don't know. She she may know now. But <laughs> in defense, I will say that I made sure out of everyone that Nicki Minaj was on Dedication 3. Because Nicki Minaj was about to get left off of Dedication 3. She was calling me directly, say, Drum, please don't let the tape come out without me on there. And I said, I got you. So Nicki Minaj is on Dedication 3 directly because I made sure she was on there. So so you got it. It came back. I'm around. trying to make it up. I'm trying to, you know. Did anyone ever hear the Nicki verse that you removed? That's a good Did question. Did she ever use it anywhere else? I, or? That I, don't, I really don't know. I don't know whatever came from that. We'd have to probably ask Gucci. Do you still have like your OG email access? I wish. I had a gangstergrills.com Gmail. That, that was probably just some shit in there. Probably so crazy. I used to get these fucking beats from this like random email from like it, it was like boy idea or something. Like I was like, who is this boy idea? Boy just wonder. sending me all these yeah. beats like in like oh five, oh six. Used to flood my email. Because you know how to pronounce his name. It was a weird name. <laughs> and now looking boy back. Boy Wonder. Yeah, it was Boy Wonder. Jeez. I've told him that. I've definitely we've talked about that. Like, shit was crazy. Yeah, because I just think about, like, even the last two or three years, the research, like, if you think about it, we went through this weird cycle where the blogs would drop the no DJ version of mixtapes, mm -hmm. as well as the DJ versions of mixtapes. And I remember you having an issue with that. And um, yeah, I felt used. Yeah, because they would use the Gangsta Girls brand. Yeah, but to like launch it. And then like a week later, they would drop like a no DJ version. Like, without your shit on it. Yeah, like what the fuck? But now we like kind of like... Came back around. Now everybody is getting the Gangsta Grills mm -hmm. and they're dropping them on DSPs. Like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, shout out to G Perico. You guys just dropped that one. Mm -hmm. There was a day recently where I feel like you had three tapes come out on one I day. I was, on, in one day I dropped Jeezy Snowfall, Snoop, Snoop and NBA Youngboy. That was crazy. That like was like, I was like on the that was like right after I won DJ of the Year too at the Hip Hop Awards. I was like, oh yeah, I'm coming. For, I'm coming for the next year's award. How like how much do you feel like? Because if people don't know, you're also uh, you Lake and Don have Generation cultivated a, a label called Generation Now that mm -hmm. has two of the biggest superstars in hip hop. Period at the mm -hmm. moment, Jack mm -hmm. Harlow and Little Uzi. Yes. Um. So you've obviously been busy yeah you've been put you've, you've also put out records mm -hmm. you've been you've been listen it's like you never went anywhere but do you feel mm -hmm. like the tyler album sparked the gangsta grills resurgence thousand percent thousand percent you gotta gotta tip your hat off to you know i saw someone say like of all people who would have thought tyler the creator who if people have called a weirdo for thus long would bring gangster girls back to life like yeah i mean one just the ingenious idea of him of the the, the concept of him making his album at gangster girls and utilizing me the way it did and two obviously us winning a grammy like come on you can't you can't deny like tyler had a lot to do with it and i and i still think that that like you know just even recently i saw like benny and west side gun uh, make some references like yo we got drama out of his executive bag like you know even before tyler i had 
I had you had did the I BSF did, shit. I did BSF shit. I did some shit on guns project. Yep. So you know there there were some other projects you know out there. So I think like um, there you know clearly like as a brand, Gangsta Grills was still strong. But I think you know the the res- the the response and just what Tyler's album did like really that's we have a lot to thank for that for sure like or even the Jeezy Snowfall like that was in the works by the for, way the best Jeezy album in I don't know what are we thinking 10 years some time it's been it's been a while I nah. was like yeah we were in New York riding around listening to that shit when it yeah. came out I was like god damn Jeezy yeah. back on his shit yeah nah I had that feel 